Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Linux on your Mac OS system. Alright, let's get started. So first we're going to want to go to google.ca and then in there you're going to want to write Linux for PC and then you're going to see right here the very first one and you're going to click that one and then you're going to want to click download and then you're gonna have two options here and you're gonna pick the first one I already have this downloaded so I'm just gonna cancel it when it comes up there we go cancel it okay and then the second thing you're gonna to want to download is go back to google.ca and then you're gonna hit you're gonna go virtual box Oracle VM virtual box is where you want to go. You're going to click that and then you're going to want to download virtual box 6.0 and depending on your um, computer, whether it's a windows or a Mac, mine is currently a Mac that I'm using right now. So I'm just going to hit OS X and I'm going to let that download. That might take a little while. Really depends on your connection and how fast your computer is. Just gonna wait. Ubuntu, the um, for Linux when you download it, it takes a little bit of. It takes a little, quite a while for it to download. Just be patient and you'll be, it'll be done before you know it. Um, virtual box is almost done. All right, so virtual box is currently done. Then you're gonna wanna open it. And then Mac is gonna verify it. You may have to, um, go into your settings and allow the application to open. I know that when I try to open it on mine that I had to give it permission for it to open. Alrighty. So you're gonna see this virtual box package and there's a user manual and uninstall tool and applications you're going to just want to do step one first which is open the package your introduction you can click continue you can also change the location of where you want it to be installed but i'm just going to leave it like that install type in your password and we're going to install software this process usually doesn't take too long Hopefully, I'm really hoping here. Okay, so installation was successful, perfect. And then for this, do you wanna move installer to the trash? Yeah, you can just move to the trash, not a big deal. You don't really need it, I'm gonna drag that out of there. And then we're gonna go into applications. And applications. And then right here, you're gonna have to scroll all the way to the bottom for virtual box. Double click that. And as you can see, I already have one installed, but we're going to delete it. There we go, remove, delete all files. All right, perfect. So this is what you're gonna see when you first um once, once you're done downloading virtual box and you're going to want to click new and then you can just name it. i'm just gonna write it linux okay 
okay and then you're gonna want to type in which which OS system are you gonna be using maybe using Linux and then what version this would be depending on what your computer is so if your computer is a uh, 32 bit and you'd hit 32 but mine is a 62 bit so we're gonna leave it like that hit continue oh yeah I have to change the location so I'm just gonna write okay and for the RAM let's just put it up to I'm gonna put it up to three thousand you can just leave it for 10 24 megabytes it's not a big deal um, and for this you're gonna to create a new virtual hard disk now and you're gonna to want to click the first one VDI virtual boss disk image and continue and then you're gonna leave that one as well and then you can name whatever you have to make sure it's very important you need to make sure that it's more than 8.5 gigabytes or else the file will not load it'll say that it's not enough space i'm just gonna do <clears throat> i'm going to do nine sure let's do 9.5 9.45 okay create that Okay, I had to do 10 because for some reason it was coming up as an error. Okay, and now this is the important part. So, you're gonna wanna have it highlighted on this, and then you're going to want to go to settings, and at the very top you're gonna see general system, display, storage, audio, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna wanna go to storage, and then where it says control IDE, you're gonna wanna hit right underneath empty and then you're going to want to hit the little disc and you want to click choose virtual optical drive file and then you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom i don't mind on the desktop you know or wherever it's located you're going to want to click uh, that one and you should see that linux VDI is there under the control SATA hit OK and then you're gonna want to hit start and give it a couple minutes you should see that it's starting to run I will tell you that there are times when the system can be a little bit slow, but all in all, it will end up working, which is great. All right, so here you're gonna see all the different languages that you want, well, depending on what country you're in. You're gonna wanna pick whatever language, I'm English, and then you can either try or install. I'm going to install. And then right here is going to be your keyboard layout, depending on what keyboard you want again. I'm just going to go English and US. I'm going to hit continue. And then here is going to be normal installation and just download updates while installing there won't be any updates because you just downloaded the most recent 
Linux. So I'm gonna move this, continue, and then you're gonna wanna hit erase disk and install Ubuntu. And then hit install now. It's gonna give you a warning here. I'm just gonna hit continue. What time zone you're in. I am indeed in Toronto. And then here's gonna be your name. I'm just gonna write Patrick. Password, redo password. I'm gonna just hit <clears throat> log in automatically. And then now the installation should start.
And when it's done, you're gonna end up seeing this installation is complete. You need to reset your computer in order for use of the new installation. So you're gonna wanna just hit reset now. And here you're gonna see. Please remove the installation medium and then hit enter. I just hit enter right away. And there you go, you got yourself a whole brand new system of Linux, just like that, in no time at all. Perfect. All right, this is How To Tech Tips. Thanks for watching and good night.